What's up guys, my name is Jilly and this is the Curated Kirby and today we are going to play a little game of sewing this or that. If you are interested in participating in this little game of sewing this or that, in the description box below, I have a link to my blog post which includes all of the cards and the questions so that you can add them to your video or that so that you just have a list to follow along with. If you do, go ahead and tag me in that video as I would love to know what are your preferences in the sewing room. This idea is, um, this concept came from the Love to Sew podcast, which I will also have linked in the description box below. They did an episode on their podcast and with each different topic, they go into really good detail. So it is definitely worth a listen. I just copied down all of the questions and I'm gonna go over them and share my answers with you all today. All right, topic number one is sewing prep. The first question is shopping new versus shopping your stash. And ashamedly, I am usually in the shopping new side of that category. I have a very healthy stash and I don't know why it happens this way, but usually when I wanna sew a particular pattern, it feels to me as though nothing in my stash will work for that pattern. And so I will often find myself going back out, running to the fabric store to grab that one cut of fabric that I feel like will be just perfect for the pattern that I wanna sew. This is definitely Definitely, definitely a habit that I want to get out of as I am at the point now where realistically speaking there's no more space in my sewing room to sew any more fabric so hopefully in the coming months I will be a shopping from your stash type of person but at this moment I do fall into the shopping new category. Question number two is PDFs or paper patterns. I am definitely a paper pattern girly. I have a pretty hefty stash of PDF patterns on my computer. I just do not enjoy the process of taping and cutting and then recutting all of it. I feel like it's really lengthy. I know a lot of people find it very relaxing and therapeutic, but I definitely don't. I also live in the US where Big Four goes on sale literally almost every week and they're on sale for $1.99. And so I have no hesitation about cutting into a pattern. And if I hack it up or I mess it up, I can always just go back and repurchase that pattern again later. Question number three is cutting or tracing. I definitely fall into the cutting category. My only caveat for tracing is if it is a vintage pattern that I do find precious to me, I will not cut it. I'll go ahead and trace that pattern out so that I have a master copy just because I like to play around with my patterns and change things up a lot. And I know that if I were to do that on a vintage pattern, there's no going back from that. But any modern day patterns, whether it's PDF, whether it's big four, I'm usually just gonna go ahead and cut it out and get to sewing. Question number four is muslin or just go for it and I find that usually more often than not I do fall into the just go for it phase mock-ups really really irritate me I do not like sewing things that I am not actually going to wear and so usually if I sew a mock-up I will sew the mock-up start to finish and it'll just be like a wearable mock-up as opposed to just like a quick and dirty like muslin I like I said I just I don't like it I don't know why but I feel like the amount of time it takes and effort it takes I want to put that into something that I'm actually going to wear in the end. Topic number two is all about fabrics. So the first one is in-store or online shopping. I fall squarely in the in-store shopping category. I do not like buying fabric online. I know a lot of people do it. I know there are a lot of great fabric shops out there, but I need to touch it. I need to see it. When you buy things online, they can come to your doorstep, not as you picture them on the website. And I find that to be a bit problematic. Now, more often than not, I don't have that problem. The bigger problem for me is the instant gratification of it all I hate waiting for things in the mail so if I can help it I'd much rather go to the store shop the fabric and bring it home with me that day question number two knits or wovens a hundred percent wovens I know people love knits I actually know someone who almost exclusively sews with knit fabrics I am not that person give me a woven fabric any day I love the way it behaves I love the way that it can be shaped I find it just very easy I like finishing it I like pressing it with knits there's just a there is just a different set of skills that you need in order to sew garments beautifully and it's not that I don't have those skills it's just that I don't really care to refine them if I'm being honest question number three is tumble dry or hang to dry definitely definitely tumble dry I don't have a clothesline outside I would love to have one, but I don't. I actually tried to hang something to dry one day outside on my kid's swing set. It was a white linen dress. And when I went outside, it had fallen into the dirt. And that was pretty much it for me. Now the caveat to this is that in my laundry closet, there is a bar and so 
with my linen dresses i do try to hang those to dry just because i like the way that linen feels when it's like air dried versus when it's tumble dried and i also find that the color stays a little bit longer and a little bit more vibrant if i hang it to dry as opposed to um like putting it in the dryer after every dry but for the most part everything goes in the washing machine and then in the dryer and that's just that question number four is rotary cutter or scissors thousand thousand percent rotary cutters i do not have the patience for scissors when i started sewing out as probably with most people i did start sewing with scissors and i would pin and i would cut and the moment that i found out about rotary cutters i don't think i looked back there is an upfront cost when you're cutting with rotary cutters so you need your cutter you need your mat you need pattern weights but i feel like all of those things are worth it to me there is also the continued cost which most people don't talk about of blades because you do have to replace your blades quite often and i definitely know that's not the case with scissors i know that you can go and get your scissors sharpened but that one pair of scissors could literally last a seamstress her entire like sewing life and sadly that's not the case with blades but i also don't care <laughs> Topic number three is clothing construction. First question is following the pattern or just wing it? I wing it. I will wing it all day. I actually just finished sewing a simplicity pattern last night and I looked at the instructions briefly and in my mind I was like this is dumb and I went ahead and I just constructed it my own way using the pattern pieces and nine times out of ten that is what you will find me doing unless it is a very intricate pattern and it is necessary to follow the instructions otherwise I'm just gonna wing it and construct it the way that I I want to construct it and that has a lot to do with comfort level just like knowing how I like to go about certain processes and ways that I find enjoyable I don't always find following pattern instructions enjoyable especially not big core patterns and I know that that is a consensus across the sewing community question number two is bias tape finish or basings I hate facings i cannot say it enough you've probably heard me say it a million and one times i do not like facings i don't like sewing with them i don't like having to tack them down i just i don't care for the entire process give me bias tape any day and i am very very happy most patterns again nine times out of ten if it calls for a facing i will omit the facing and i'll go ahead and i will use a bias tape finish because that's just my preference question number three is serge seams or french seams Search seams all day. I am a hasty seamstress. I want to get in, I want to get the thing done, and I want to get out. Most of my projects I like to complete within one to two days. And if I had to French seam things, just me personally, based on where I am in terms of skill and patience, it wouldn't be done that quickly. I don't enjoy doing French seams at all. I have tried it once before. This dress, because it is sheer, it is actually French seamed, and I didn't enjoy it. And I've never sewn another sheer dress because I don't want to have to do that again. <laughs> Question number four is button fly or zip fly my answer to this is neither i don't like sewing button flies and i don't like sewing zip flies i am not very competent in either one of those things and so yeah it's a no for me it's a no i like an elastic waist pants i know they're on the way out i know they're not as trendy or as cool right now everybody's into their oversized trouser face and i'm trying to get there too but in my heart I am an elastic waist pants girly, so again, the answer is neither. Question number five is buttons by hand or buttons by machine? I only sew my buttons by machine. If I have to sew a button by hand, I just won't buy that button. I need to be able to put it on my machine, go to the machine setting, and let the machine do the work. I know that especially with my, my historical sewing girlies and my more vintage leaning people, sewing buttons by hand is their jam and they do it so beautifully. Again. I personally don't want to have the patience for that and so I'll just do it on my machine. Question number six is fusible interfacing or sew-in interfacing. I've never used sew-in interfacing. I actually at one point accidentally bought two packs of sewing sew-in interfacing and I instead used it for tracing patterns and making patterns on but I don't want to do that. So a fusible interfacing all day every day. Question number seven is snip threads as you go or snip them all at the end. I am somewhere in between with like both like I'll snip some threads as I'm sewing I'll catch some threads at the end I'll skip some threads to the end or like midway through the project I might go and go ahead and give like everything a good snipping but I don't have a set rule on if I just snip them in the beginning or snip them as I go or snip them at, at the end I kind of just snip them whenever I see my snips there and I'm like oh yeah let me go ahead and just clean up these threads question number eight is 
pressing all your seams after you're done or pressing after every seam. I press after every seam. I think ironing makes the biggest difference in sewing and for most people when they struggle with the finish of their garments and the way that it looks nine times out of ten is because they're not pressing their seams. I also think that pressing your seams after you're getting into tricky business because some seams are easier to press before the next thing is attached to it and so a thousand percent press as you go. And the last topic number four is sewing habits. Question number one is late night seamstress or daytime seamstress. I am a late night seamstress at heart. I do sew, sew during the day out of necessity, but if I can get a night in of just like nighttime all night, like up past midnight sewing, sign me up. Most of the time though, because of the way my life is structured, I do end up sewing during the day, but I prefer to sew at night. Question number two is slow and steady or frantic. This is again one where I probably fall, mm, I'm lying. I think I'm more of a frantic sewist. I will come up with a project and then like in my mind, I am not at peace until that project is done and has come to fruition. So I'm usually just in here like sewing and throwing things and I will deal with the mayhem later. I'm not really a slow and steady type seamstress. I don't take, like taking a lot of time on projects. That makes me a little bit antsy, so yeah and question number three is a tidy as you go or one bit cleanup thousand percent one bit cleanup this has been <laughs> the story of my life unfortunately is that i am a one bit cleanup type person like right now you see my clothing rack and everything looks great but behind you i guarantee you it is pure mayhem and it all needs to be cleaned up at one time but it's the aftermath of like two maybe three projects that's usually when i'll go ahead and i'll do a bit cleanup because usually by project three things have just gotten so out of hand that i can't focus and so i'll have to clean everything up to start again again if you're interested in playing along in the description box below will be a link to my blog post where i will include the original podcast as well as my graphic for all of the questions or all of the questions however i end up doing that so that you can go ahead and you can follow along if you do decide to do a video of sewing this or that i would really love it if you would tag me so that i can see your sewing this or that and get a sneak peek into your sewing process and until next time stay beautiful make great things i'll talk to you later Bye.